Morning, everybody. It's uh, Monday morning, the 10th, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 1098 for this Monday morning. And uh, uh, just going to remind everyone, it's a new year. If you're not a subscriber to the service, that's one thing, but it doesn't cost anything to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And to get all of the... Uh, information that we put out and there's plenty of it so hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you will be up to date all the time uh, this is a big week we start earnings uh, and on wednesday we have cpi on friday we have retail sales so there's a lot of information coming out Okay, Asia and Europe both mixed this morning, but Zenga, Z-N-G-A, being bought by Take-Two, T-T-W-O, it's a $12.7 billion deal. Uh, Zenga, <clears throat> excuse me, had a high of 16 early on, traded down as low as $2 and change, and uh, the deal is for eight fifty in cash and some... T2 stock. Uh, the deal looks like about nine and a half dollars or so. Uh, the stock right now is nine dollars and twelve cents, up three dollars and twelve cents, or fifty-three uh, percent. Gas prices were down two cents in the last two weeks, which is just wonderful. Uh, I think the uh, average is uh, three thirty-nine now nationally, but. Uh, heating oil is up from 244 to 250, or 2.5%. And, uh, and while oil is down a dollar, the chart on the screen shows net gas breaking out to the upside with a pretty substantial move over the last two weeks, with a low of 380 and a high of 417, which is where it's trading now. We have the UNG calls at about 49 cents. They should open around 90 cents. So it uh, looks like we might have to lose half on the 100% up rule. Tesla <clears throat> increasing the cost of its full driving software by $12,000 in the U.S. Uh, I don't know what they're charging for it now. That was just a headline. Bitcoin down 1500 trading just above 41000 Sony, Marvel's Spider-Man, another big weekend, $33 million, uh, sixth biggest domestic release, and uh, the futures are all over the place. Last night when they opened, uh, they were uh, down a bit. For example, the S&P was down about 19. During the night, they took it to up about 30. And uh, the last right now is down about 30. Uh, NASDAQ, same situation. It was uh, down a bit, then it was up a bit right now. It's down uh, about 180. And the Dow, which was down 113 when they opened it, came all the way back to up on the day, currently down 96. So, um, you know, this is a very tough market. Uh, if you read my note from last night and last night's letter, uh, you'll see I'm pretty concerned. And I think the most important thing that we can do in here is to keep position sizes appropriate to your risk profile. Let's take a look at some of these futures. Uh, Corn down about two cents. Oil down a half a dollar. Heating oil up 19 cents. Gold down six and a half dollars with the uh, silver down about a dime. Uh, as I said, the stock futures down 32 in the uh, S&P, down now 205 in the NASDAQ, 133 in the Dow, and almost sells exactly $17 in the Russell. The Russell has really gotten pounded here. While some of these indexes are 2 and 3% from their all-time highs, uh, the Russell high uh, just early November was over 2450 currently.
currently 2150. That's 300 on 24. That's 12 percent, and it isn't even at the low down here at 2100. So uh, there's been a shadow bear market here, um, as I've mentioned. Uh, before, 40% of NASDAQ stocks are down 50%. So, all right, folks, be careful out there and uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and notification. And I'll be back with an alert on uh, the position in the UNG.